Wow, that was long. I'm sorry it went so long, Luria. I hope we didn't run oh, over no, time for you. You're fine. No, I it, I probably made it run long. I'm sorry. Oh, no, it's not you. <laughs> Definitely not you. I talk too much. <laughs> no, this was good stuff though. I liked it. Good, good. That your your music is awesome. It makes me just like want to get up and dance, but I had to restrain myself. Oh, don't. I, <laughs> not on my account anyway. Just that in the, the funny but then the on safe box or whatever the heck it is that people love to see her dancing on your show. <laughs> Uh, hey, uh, I think I just want to go right. I'm, I'm, I know uh, that we usually like look at the show bot and figure out all the titles, but there was one that just caught my eye right now. I want to see if you guys like it. Uh, and I may just make an executive decision. Where is it? Geeks helping geeks teach geeks. <laughs> that's awesome. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> yeah, I like it. I support um, your executive decision. But it's not an executive decision unless you just go with it and don't ask for any, isn't it? Or is it? I don't know. Yep. Well, no. It's a co-executive decision of the <laughs> triumvirate here. <laughs> yep, there you go. Congressional approval of all uh, of all show titles. Yeah. <laughs> you have that hey, kind of power, Tom. Thanks, BioCow <laughs> and Rami and Shane and Gooses and stuff, uh, all of you. And pre pre preface for radio. I uh, saw some comments from you guys, so thank you. Perfect face for radio is what that's short for. Oh, <laughs> sorry. <helps. laughs> I was reading. I don't know. I have Harry Potter on my mind. I was like, <laughs> prefect? <laughs> He's the prefect of the chat room. Yes. Sorry. <laughs> uh, I should never do that. I always screw it up. Call out people's names. Oh, man. Uh, well, I as Ektar, for years, I called Eaz. I Yeah. <laughs> For Before years, I got huh? to know him. Well, yeah, because he was in the Buzz Out Loud chat room, and I'd right. be like, you know, you'd you'd reference him as Eoz. I remember that. Yeah, and uh, Scott Eoz, from SLC. Yeah, exactly. And Scott from SLC doesn't have a last name. <laughs> I don't know. Some guy's got a decent voice, but he's all right. Like his calls. <laughs> Oh, and uh, I wasn't sure when this actually launched. Um, so anybody watching in the, the chat room, uh, we actually have a webinar tomorrow. Oh, so cool. when, do, when do you actually produce, or release this one? Oh, it's going up within right 10 now. minutes. Yeah. Oh, oh I'm you, leveling you it right now. Holy cow. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Well, we have a webinar tomorrow if anyone wants to get some, some free information. Cool. It's at geeksuniversity.com slash webinar. So. Yeah, with... Wow. Um, with the with the news show, I try to just get it out as fast as possible. Yeah, no, that makes sense. So, so yeah, and and I hang around and we keep streaming while I edit and post. Um, but if you need to go, go. Don't. Okay. Go, well, go I'll whenever. just. Uh, I probably do need to get going, but uh, at squad uh, in the chat room, I I am Callie Lewis. I don't just look like her. <laughs> if that was a real <laughs> comment. That should be your next <laughs> move. It's pretend yeah. like you've never heard of Kelly. Oh, that's, that's weird. <laughs> so I look like her? Well, that's odd. <laughs> I'm going by my real name now. <laughs> that's but, I've never heard of her. Oh, that's interesting. Yeah, I thought about doing that. Like if somebody is like, oh, I saw you. Um, I think I saw you at the grocery store. And I know I was like, like in my worst shape ever. Like, <laughs> like no, that was Kelly Lewis. I, don't, I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was my twin. That wasn't me. That's amazing. Oh, that's funny. All right. Well, I guess I better go do some more prep. All uh, right. Yeah. Week. Congratulations on the launching. That's awesome. Yes. Thank you so much for having me. I really appreciate it. You and... bet. Come back soon. Okay. You too over here. All once right. We get... So our our studio is like a. It looks like a like a tornado went off or went through here right now. Sure. But as soon as we get set up, we're gonna get set up for like bringing in Hangouts and and Skype and all of that good stuff. So awesome. Well, it looks wow. great right now. Thank you. Yeah, this part right. does. Your line is great. <laughs> that part doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I'll see you guys later. All right. See you later. Bye. Bye. Well, all righty then. And then Titles? there were three. Oh, no, we picked it. Geeks helping yeah. geeks teach geeks. Sorry. Should, there was a slight scream in my ear. So it wasn't <laughs> That's all right. <laughs> slight scream. Just a slight screaming. Slight scream. Yep. <laughs> Oh, Ellie. Oh. She didn't like the title. I'm sorry. Can't wait. Can 
she can t- <laughs> can't wait till she can talk wait so she can talk and feed herself yeah Eileen says the same thing about me oh she laughed I'm gonna get to see Hakito tonight oh yeah oh yeah he's in LA I forgot he didn't yep. play Heroes with us last night and that's usually why he's in LA ah okay yep doing a shoot or something he was last week. He's like, "You and Eileen want to get dinner?" I was like, "Yeah, it'd be great." And then today's like, "Eileen's out of town." I guess. Do you still want to get dinner? <laughs> 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 Which is probably not the way he wrote it at all, but that's the way I read it. Like, right? Like, oh, the fun one's not around, but I guess. Well, if you want to surprise him with a little comment when you see him, re- refer to him as Schmerich, Schman, Schmeischmach. <laughs> okay. Yes, he'll know. What it is. I'll just when I see him, I'll go Schmerick, 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 it's, Schmerick. it's good to see you. And then, so but good. but act like you don't know what you're talking about, and we'll see what his reaction is. What is the uh, what is the story behind that? Big insider thing. So like we play <laughs> we play heroes all the time, and then when we do this core show about heroes, we talk about our games of the week and things like that. And okay. we did some funny things in the game. So instead of calling him out, we called him Schmerick. <laughs> okay, so you tried to pretend to <laughs> hide his name. Yeah, and he's you know it's become a bit of a meme there, so he'll he'll enjoy the reference. So what I should do is be like, have you heard of this asshole named Schmerich Man Schmeyock? Totally do that, dude. I I mean I I hear he's just awful to play with. (laughs) He's bad. But man, I hear it's just it's making the game toxic. Nobody wants to. I mean, it's one of the reasons I don't play heroes is I don't want to be a Schmerich Man (laughs) Schmeyock. Oh my gosh! Don't be a schmear. Patrick put together. You can see this list Patrick made of the five things he wishes he'd known about heroes that he now loves the game for. No, and I heard him waxing on about that. Yeah, he's loving it, and it's funny because he he was like, I don't know what you guys are seeing in this, and there's these five things he says no one told him, and if they had, he would have been in no, a lot I, sooner. No, I think I read that. Did he post that somewhere? Yeah, he may have posted it actually. Yeah, if you've seen that. It's very interesting, no, I've seen and it. I think he's. The, fa- the yeah. one of them was you can play on your own. You don't. You can play against the AI. Yeah, you don't have to feel bad yeah. about playing AI. Yeah, you don't have to feel like. But you're here's being- the thing: like I know you can play against the AI, AI and level up, but I feel like I'm not doing it right. Like right. I feel like, oh well, you know that's that's not heroes. His um, other four points are really good at explaining. Yeah, yeah. That part of it, like never dying sounds like well that's something you want to try to do in every game that was really good no that was a really good one which is like no really dying is is really bad for your team like and that's something i've been horrible the few times i have played heroes like oh i died i'll just run back uh and like okay something where you're just supposed to get right back in the fray but it's it's more meaningful to die in that game and therefore you start playing in ways that are yeah you play a little more conservatively if you see the whole team getting demolished you are, you should get the crap out of there, not stay and go down. Not with the stay ship. and try. Yeah, no, and I've I've played the opposite of like, oh, I should just like rush in and try to do some damage, you know. I think most people do. I don't I don't think you're alone. That's I mm. think part of the problem. It's one of the barriers to the game for sure. But once all that stuff hits and it does click eventually, and you go, oh, okay, now I love this, and then you're into it. My problem is I don't I'm have enough time. Yeah, well, and that's yeah, that's a whole other, that's a whole other bag of chips for sure. Yeah, I mean, the time I have for gaming is even sometimes like Hearthstone is okay, but even mm-hmm. Hearthstone I don't have like I can pop into something for five minutes, then I'm good. Yeah, and Hearthstone even sometimes is longer than five minutes. Yeah, when you're screwed is when a new civilization comes out, and then you're screwed. I'm playing SimCity Build It right now, of all things. That game's alright. I'm way late to that party, but. Okay. I it's, you know, the but it's definitely the thing where I can go in and like boop 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 boop, you know, build my yeah, city. Get in quick, do your stuff, get out. Yeah. Play entirely for free. And SimCity and Civ are like my heritage games. Those are the games in the nineties yeah. that I played all the time. Yeah, they're your jam for sure. I, I remember like uh I, I've told the story before. It's not that great of a story either, but just playing SimCity two thousand for an entire day on my day off. And then going over at two in the morning to pick up my girlfriend from work. She worked at a bar and I walked in and she's like, what's wrong? What happened? I'm like, I don't know what you mean. She's like, you just look so like, I don't know. And I'm like, oh, I've been playing SimCity 2000 all day. <laughs> That's hardcore, man. <laughs> yeah. 
you were officially a hardcore gamer because of that. I'm a, I was a hardcore sim gamer. Yeah. I mean, those were influential things. Then they totally, they're like, I don't know, they're like brain candy for you, for your personality type. Yeah, that, that must be it. It's a good thing, you know? I'm glad they exist for you. Somebody needs to. Well, actually, a lot of people do. Millions do, but still. I, uh, I've been noticing some, some friends that probably don't play anymore, but I've been going to their cities because they built them, and they're in my game center list. I'm like, oh, look at that. Of course, Ralph is one of them because he plays everything. It's Ralph does all games all the time. Yeah. There's a guy that can play a video game. If there's a video game, he's played it. He's playing it right now. <laughs> if there's a video game, he's in there and will say hello as soon as you log in. Because right. he's a nice guy. Yeah, he's super nice. And he'll help you. He'll level yeah. you, teach you. He's all those things. The only complaint I ever had about playing with Ralph in Warcraft was like, or no, not Warcraft, Diablo. It was like, no, no, you're leveling me too fast. <laughs> I'm not savoring it. <laughs> yeah, no, I don't. I, that's why this, uh, so there's this new season of Diablo and I'm playing it, but I've decided not to let Ralph and, and people run me through dungeons to power level me because I want to enjoy it. I bet, I mean, that's, he's really good at it is the thing. Like if you yeah, want a power level, he's the guy. Tempting. It's very tempting, but it's like skipping college and pretending you have a degree. So I just want to, want to, Slowly, you know, I just want to take it at my own pace, and it's actually really enjoyable this way. So he's not happy with me in that decision. Of course not. But he'll be fine. He'll live. Will he? Yeah, well. I don't know, Scott. We all die, Tom. I, we're all dying. I don't want to break it to you, but we're all dying. Some of us faster than others. We're all dying from the day we're born. On that morbid note. <laughs> Man, I, Ian Ian in the chat room just said, I spent all of summer break 1998 playing Civ 2. I think I might have also. <laughs> it was a big, that was a big year just generally. Yeah. Like that was a huge year. Russ for Pitts and I used to just play Civilization 2 all the time. Wow. We'd even dial each other a, couple, a few times and play it against each other. Over Those the kinds of games are really good on the iPad Pro, I've learned. Yeah. Um, Civ Revolutions like is great on the iPad Pro real good on there in fact oh, i should play more of that i've played, played that game. game on the ipad pro over over this holiday break i played it to the limit of its usefulness like i found the edges of that game where it's like oh it's not the full game because i can't do this well, that's good though that thing's been i've been really happy with mine i like it a lot i'm drawing it on it almost daily uh Using it as a notebook more than I wait more. I, th I think I told you that. I use it as a notebook a lot more. Yeah, yeah. I'm not, I've been doing some writing like I did on Thanksgiving break, for particularly when we were driving. It was great in the car. Like yeah. the keyboard was good enough and it was it fit in my lap really nicely. Uh, and I've, I've used it here and there, like out and about, like, oh, I'll just take this and write on it instead. Um, so, yeah, like the keyboard makes it essential for me. Yeah, it's, uh, you have to have that or else. It's difficult to justify the cost of that thing. Now, the Nexus 5X yeah. has the brilliance of the fingerprint sensor on the back, which I did not realize how fantastic. I saw that on Twitter. So oh, now you don't know how you're going to live without that. You just pick it up and it unlocks. There's none of this, oh, right, I got to put my finger on my thumb. I guess I put my thumb there. Like, it sounds yeah. stupid, but like, it's perfectly positioned. The only thing I, it's, it shouldn't be so close to the lens because sometimes I touch the lens instead of the, the fingerprint sensor, but it's just so natural to be like, boom, I'm it pretty quick. It's, it's pretty snappy. Yeah. Once, once you've actually put your finger on it, it's super fast. All right. My Maybe. complaint with the phone is that the battery life is pretty, pretty low. Hmm. At least with my usage profile, it is. Uh, four, 4.7 inch. How big is it? Like no, 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 uh, no, it's five. Five, I guess. Six maybe, seven. maybe it is 4.7. How, how big is the iPhone 6? The 6 is 4.7. The 6 Yeah, plus. so the, the 5X is 5 something. Okay. All right. Well, that's cool. Because it's bigger. I'm looking at it. It's bigger than the 6. Testing all this stuff. It's awesome. Yeah, I mean, this was, uh, Eileen got this as the, the holiday present from her place of work. Oh, really? And so, and then she's like, do you want to try it? And I was like, yeah, sure. Well, yeah, why not? Of course. Your text came through a little weird, but other than that, I'm fine. Yeah, Veronica was like, it's so weird to see green texts from you. Ugh. <laughs> Yuck. <laughs> I'm over-dramatizing how she said it, obviously. But... That was a pretty good impression. It wasn't too bad. 
Um, all right. Well, have the funnest of possible afternoons. Yes, I am publishing now. Uh, let's say goodbye to the video, folks. Goodbye, goodbye video, video folks. folks. Bye, Roger and baby.